let's turn this trash into a piece of art. So if you've ever tried to start like a new whatever, it's always kind of intimidating to take that first step, but that's what you have to do. You have to take the first step. And I've been like brainstorming and planning and trying to come up with a way to integrate more art, um, into more videos into my art. If you guys have followed for any length of time, like 10 years ago, I used to do daily vlogging. And it was a lot of fun. I really enjoy art as a medium, or video as a medium for um, art. And I just, now with Instagram and YouTube shorts and all that, it's just like, it's almost like there's a lot of pressure of an, as an artist to produce video. And I haven't quite figured out the right way to do it that's efficient, that's interesting, that's purpose-filled, so it's not just like, hey, look at my art. And um, so this is just something I'm trying, and these first, some videos, I guess are gonna be kind of crappy, cruddy, I shouldn't say crappy. Um, but we're gonna give it a shot. So I figured we'll do some behind the scenes, kind of show you a little bit about my process, but then also talk about art, life, and all that kind of stuff that interests me. And because I feel like if you are interested in art, art is an expression of a person. So I always like the, the idea with my The lighting's still a little bad. I have to fix that. But if you've paid attention to the drawing, you'll see that I started with a red pen and I do, it's what's called the four shushes. And this is kind of my everyday sketching process. I start with the red pen and I do like the first shush, shush, shush. It's like you're just kind of like getting the movement. Um, in the art world, they call it your gesture lines, but it's just the movement of what is happening. So I use that red line to just start laying in kind of the movement and the flow of whatever I'm drawing. And then the second shush is the shape. And I start just finding the big shapes and I start blocking those shapes and breaking down the artwork into something simpler, into simple blocky shapes. The third shush is sharpen. So if you think of it as like a sculptor would take a, a block of shape and then they would start to sharpen and refine that shape to make it look more like what you're trying to do. As you can kind of see this coming together here now. And then the last shush is shadow. And that's where your drawing starts to take life and you add shadow and highlight and you're adding in all you know your details within that. So those are the four shushes when I'm doing sketching. So I think with anything um, any type of goal or any type of drawing or sketching or anything, it's just easier to break it down into smaller steps. And so those are the four shushes. Shush, swoosh, shape, sharpen, and shadow. So think about if you have some goal to try to break that down into smaller steps. sea bass and um, it's been kind of my favorite fish to draw lately and um, you know so I did this uh, the finished drawing is is here but I kind of kept this as a sketch I might frame this and maybe make it available online but I also think about maybe doing a little illustration or a, a painting of it as well um, so we'll see because the last thing I want to talk about for this is winding down is what are the three things I'm thankful for right now? This is Thanksgiving week, and I am thankful for three things. First thing is I had this really bad toothache. I had to get a tooth pulled, and I was thankful for the inconvenience of that because it just reminded me, and this is gonna sound really hokey, but I was kind of reminded that we, it's a real blessing where we live to be able to have like medicine and doctors so readily available and I think sometimes we forget that that's not the case in many parts of the world so that pain was a little bit of a reminder so I was thankful for that trying to turn something bad into something good 
I'm thankful for obviously my family, my friends, those things are a little uh, obvious, but uh, but they are true. Thankful for family and friends and just health, you know, generally good health. So thankful for that. And then the last thing I'm thankful for is, wait, I guess that's three. I said, thankful for the pain of my tooth, thankful for family and friends and thankful for good health. So hope you guys enjoy this video. Like I said, they're going to keep getting better, but I needed to just take the first step and get into it. So hope you guys enjoy and we'll see you on the next one.